Hello, welcome back. So, today we are going to be using this template that I got off of Kayla, Cre Kayla's Creation Designs, Kayla's Designs. Anyways, I'll have it linked down below, but it was actually a free template. And um, I'm just going over the glitters here that I'm going to be doing. Now, when I first saw this template, I immediately thought I want to do a rainbow pencil for a teacher. I thought it would be so colorful and cool and... I, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Now, to pick out the colors, I I kind of had to go with, I was going to go with holographic, and then I didn't have the right orange, I didn't have the right yellow, so I finally went with all of these, like, um, I can't remember what she calls them, but they're, they're from the Glitter Ranch, and um, it's like, Anyways, I'll have it I'll have it all linked down below. But the Galveston is a mix that I made. Lead is a mix that I made um, in a box that we or a bundle that we did. And then I have sterling on there. Now um, that was to just show you all the colors that we were doing. Now these cat scratch papers, which obviously I'll have linked down below, these are really popular right now. They they have two different um, kinds. There's there's different ones and this is the only one that I have used so I don't want I mean I'm not comparing it to anything that anybody else has used but there's 3M paper and then there's tumbler tape or something like that or shape tape or whatever but this is what I got and this is what I'm using so and I did save these little pieces here because um, I saw Dixie Darling she um, saved these pieces and then she used them to put foil on some of her pieces uh cups and i thought that was pretty pretty neat so no waste you know anyways i got this contraption from cami page boutique over with uh, brooke tanhill and uh as you can see my first attempt at putting one of these on <laughs> was not successful because i did not use this um this thing here but once i put it all and i got it all lined up and everything and i put the tape on there it went on there much straighter much more accurate and um i was much i was it was a much better start because i think if you don't get a very good start you could have the possibility to um you know screw it up from the beginning but that's what happened and i had to rip it off and it ripped off some of the paint but i was like whatever we're just gonna go with it and you know we'll go we'll we'll fix it if we have to later on so this is very similar to double-sided tape which i do all the time i mean it's that's literally what it is it sticks on one side and you take off the piece on the top and it's sticky on that side and then you can put the glitter on there now I was thinking that I could get away with one coat of this glitter I painted it white I thought that I was going to be able to um, you know just be able to put the one color on there and go well that wasn't the case because there these colors were much deeper than what they were showing on this um, on this particular I guess background the white or something I don't know but it I decided later on after I went through about three or four of these I was like I'm definitely gonna have to do another coat and so I was gonna use glitter glue and put it you know do another coat on there instead of using Mod Podge but we'll get into that in a minute but I just you know basically it's very very simple i just went in the order of a rainbow and put down fireball and then um tang and then uh brazil and then blue raz and then rio and they all kind of have a little tinge of you know something else they all have these like kind of a gold tinge to them but they also kind of look a little green a little orange a little blue a little you know and so i thought it would if they were really they would really complement this whole look of a rainbow and being that this template was free and i and you use this double-sided tape i just thought this is like the easiest way that you can do one of these pencil tumblers and um you could probably do this you could use the template and use a vinyl and you know cut it out and then do you know then glue the glitter on there or whatever but i just really loved the idea of you know kind of you could kind of make it your own as far as the different colors in the different sections of the pencil you know instead of it just being one section that you just take off 
they separated it and so i don't know i thought that was pretty cool so i immediately was like i want to do a rainbow look for a teacher i thought it would be perfect and there was like a um outline on top of the eraser and on top like everything had like these tiny little outlines and they did cut and it cut fine i cut it on washi tape by the way that i have a cricket um and it worked out fine they didn't have to cut it again didn't have to use more pressure or nothing it worked out fine but these little lines as you can see there i'm kind of struggling with them well i didn't want to take them off because if i took it off then any glitter that I'm going to put on at this moment is going to fill up those lines. And I didn't want that, but I eventually just took them all off. And I just added glitter of whatever color was next to them or above it or whatever. I just, when I do, when I do the, um, the second layer of glitter, that's what I did. I just kind of took them all off and then just kind of added whatever glue in between or let the glitter fall in between those lines. And Galveston is one of my favorites. It's, it was the one that I made up for the beach tumbler that I have. If you have that, you know, whole set, then you would have this color. But I thought it was a great brownie, you know, grainy looking for that wood look. And I really thought all of these colors just really complemented and just the, the pencil look really came through. So here's where I got into, I, I had, did this later on that night. Not, there was no reason why you don't have to let anything dry or anything like that. I could have gone right into it, but I, uh, I got through with it and then I had other things that I had to do. And so I came back later on that evening and um, just kind of quietly after everybody went to bed and I just did some glittering. So it was pretty, and I, what I'm using here is the Crystal Lac glitter glue and this little nozzle here I started another project and uh, then I got sidetracked by a big order and so I have this tiny little nozzle of this glitter glue which I was using for something else and so I thought well this would be perfect so that I don't get like huge globs of this glitter glue squirting out from the big bottle and so and it did work out you know it worked out really well so but you can see the vibrance of the color once you do like you put that layer that second layer on it was like oh the color is so bright and so beautiful and these colors really are so bright and so beautiful i did also try to find a brush that was big enough but small enough you know so that i could get into all the little nooks and crannies and um you know I'd, so that's another thing too you want to make sure you're not using some huge brush and you're getting glue everywhere and this is obviously sped up so i took my time i was very tedious so that you know like i always say you take your time now and then you don't have to fix a mess later on you know but uh, but for the sake of time this was like two hours long so i cut it cut it cut it cut it cut it and sped it up and all of that so this is what you get so but you know what's going on i mean you you can obviously tell I'm, I'm keeping the basics in there um, you don't need to see every single little step but this is what I did just put glue on each color and oh you know put a second layer of glitter on there also I didn't put any color in this glue I just did the glue just by itself because I didn't want anything to hinder the color of the glitter I just wanted the glit the color of the glitter to come through so and the crystal act glitter glue is amazing when it comes to that it's just it holds that glitter so well and it just and it gives you a lot of working time which I like too sometimes Mod Podge is nice if you just want to get something done really quickly this does take about two hours to dry but it's but it does give you a lot more working time so you can do more so i you know it's a pro and con but you know anyways and that rio i just have to take a minute because i'm obsessed I'm, I'm obsessed with rio it's so beautiful and then those gold little highlights that they have in there anyways i just thought all this really came out came out really nice <laughs> So I will probably skip over most of this, but I won't bore you to death with things <laughs> explaining how to put glue on and put more glitter and yada, yada, yada. But you know what? You get the point. It's, you know, you just keep on going and um, take your time. Be slow. You are going to be doing pinstripes later on, so you can cover up any little bitty imperfections you can cover up any little bitty imperfections in the end uh with those pinstripes i don't know why i cannot find my words these days but anyways that's what i was saying but anyways let's go ahead and skip to the epoxy part 
So after about two hours, that glitter glue is dry. Now I took it outside and sprayed it three times with the matte clear sealer. You can do clear gloss, whatever kind of sealer you have. Just spray it down and uh, just make sure that none of that glitter is going to be moving around too much and getting, or, you know, not at all moving around. <laughs> you don't want it to be moving around. You want it to be stayed, staying put. Now, the other good thing about the, the, gr the glitter glue is that it, it helps adhere the glitter a lot better as well. And so you just really have no movement whatsoever. So I went in with this first coat of epoxy and then just immediately went in with a second coat after hitting it with a little bit of heat to pop the bubbles. And, um, and then after this, boom, went into my second coat and then we went into the rest. So first I'm going to fix this bottom part because I just had the tape that went just right on that bottom uh, part and just kind of went over the edge just a little bit. So I, I ended up putting some electrical tape and then I used some of my Pantheon paints, which are all kind of like drying out, I think, or I've used them a lot more than I thought I didn't. But anyways, um, so I'm, I just put a little bit, my brush broke, but I got it back together. Anyways, I put a little bit of the, that on there and um, it wasn't trying to be accurate. I was just trying to get a cover so that any if any of that white came through, which you'll see in a minute it doesn't even matter but anyways I put a little coat of that on there and I let that dry then I went back with another coat and let that dry and then now I put a little bit of alcohol on this and after I have sanded it and got the edge all the rim all cleaned up and everything like that and I'm putting the this holographic um if I can find it, I'll put it but I just wanted to do something holographic because it was because of the rainbow you know look of it and so i just wanted all those colors kind of shining through but anything you wanted to do if you wanted to do black if you wanted to do, i mean you know just make it your own do your own thing do shades of pink if you want whatever you want to do also these were the only ones that i cut these are the only pinstripes that i cut because i there was a specific holographic um, vinyl that I wanted to use and I did not have any extra pinstripes laying around in the drawer but everything else I used pinstripes that I had left from other projects or just the inside of the pinstripes whenever I never weed out the pinstripe I just take out the pinstripes that I'm using and whatever's left over I stick back in my vinyl drawers and I use those again because that's because waste not want not kind of thing and um and that's what this is this was just a little extra pinstripes that I had sitting in there and I thought these will be perfect they will fit right around there and it was a silver it was holographic a little bit it was a matte which I do have that I know where to find that and I can link that down below and then this was a rose gold um I had done this for something else I don't remember um I think it was for something on here but anyways I was like you know what the rose gold will be just fine you won't even really be able to tell and um, I had some extra little pinstripes there and so I was like this will be perfect um, the floral the two floral the V split that was the one I used those for I used the big ones for that and so I had these thin little lines left over so perfect I pulled them out of my drawer and used all those little scraps so then once that um, paint was dry which I thought it was dry I put the glitter glue on top of there and I don't know if it was the brush or the glue or the paint or what it was but the paint started coming off now I have no clue as to why this happened I do not think it was the glitter glue but it may have been the glitter glue combination with the paint I have no idea but um, I have never seen that happen and so it may have been a fluke it may have been the brush who knows didn't matter because the black didn't it totally did not even show and the glitter was fine so um, but I just wanted to show y'all that things happen but I immediately um, took off the tape because you don't want any of that glue to get stuck to there and then when you go try to take it off later it's dried and it'll crack off or take pieces of it off of there so once again this is a scrap piece of a pinstripe that i had laying in the drawer and it was black like a uh, matte or not matte uh black black chrome which i love to use and um so bam i used a bunch of scraps and then later i'll use even more scraps <laughs> this was a scrappy piece that i made here anyway 
So let's get serious. Once I did this, I used that outdoor um, sealer thing that I showed y'all last week that I friggin' love. I, it's so awesome. I'm so happy that I found this. And um, I'll have it linked below. But it is so cool. And I, I wanted everything to be sealed in so that when I went to go put the coat of epoxy on here, I got a really nice seal so I could put my decal on there and um, I wouldn't have any issues. So once again, I'm using that same holographic uh, vinyl that I used for the lines. And I wanted that to be the outline of this whole you know, saying that we, that I got from letter, letters, lettered by Stephanie. And I, as you can see there, I have this little box of little scraps that I use for like pens and things, but it also worked out perfect for this because I wanted it to be like a rainbow of, um, the colors. So I wanted, like, I became a teacher for the money and fame. That was the, the quote. I thought that was really appropriate for our lovely wonderful teachers that we have um anyways i i thought they would get a kick out of that hopefully but um i wanted to do like red and orange and yellow i wanted to do the colors of the rainbow going down in the font and so it worked out perfect um i just put each um in design space i just put each of the colors you know, each word, I just put it in a different space and then I would just pull the, the, um, the mat out and then push it back in. And then I used all holographic so that it would cut the same way the whole way through. And so I didn't have to do anything, but just kind of keep going through and keep going through, keep going through. So it worked, it worked, real, worked out really well. Um, I had one issue with a little and sign money and fame, but other than that, it worked out really well and we got some good colors some good fun it was it turned out really cute i think considering i had a whole nother plan to give y'all today but i tried about four different things three or four four i think different things and none of them worked out and so i had to go back to the drawing board and so this was like my i got this free download and so i thought you know what i'm gonna do this and it'll be really quick and easy and it'll be something really fun that i can show y'all and um and i did it so i was very proud of myself <laughs> there was these tiny little stars that they had in the design and i cut them out in gold and the gold was it was they were very small <laughs> I was trying my hardest to get them put in there, but you really can't see them, but you kind of can when you kind of turn the cup or whatever. So anyways, I was like, I'm going to do it. I already cut them out. I'm going to add them on there. So then after um, a final coat of epoxy, which I will probably have to put one or two more coats of epoxy on this because I was doing this very quickly to get this out to you guys. But anyways, I absolutely love it. It's so, so colorful in this glitter from the Glitter Ranch. Woo! Awesome, awesome. I will have everything linked down below. Please like and subscribe. And um, if you do recreate this, please tag me at 321 Cup Designs. And um, yeah, join my Facebook group. And I hope to see you guys next time.